Hey Bugs, so we're back with our 100% olive oil soap, our Castile soap, and I just cut off the tape that was holding up this little board in the back from off of my soap molds. I said I was going to wait about uh, 48 to 72 hours to release this from out of the mold and cut it so, it's going, so it can cure. Um, but I decided to do it now. It seems like it's 48 hours later, by the way. It seems like it's hard enough for me to release it. So we'll see. Like I said, this is an experiment. So let's see how it goes. This is the board that I had in there. I'm just going to put this off to the side and try to take this from out of the mold and slice it up and see what we have. And by the way, this is going to take a while to um, cure up. This doesn't have any coconut oil in it. And usually, I believe, like olive oil soaps, they take um, probably a few months in order to cure. Not just the regular, you know, six weeks that it usually takes for, uh, well, that part broke off. So I probably could have waited a little bit longer. It's still a little bit tacky, but... You'll have that, so I'll scrape this out at a later time and um, <clears throat> put that to the side so it can cure and I can have a little soap ball and I can show you guys the um, lather of it all. But olive oil soaps are very good for the skin, especially if you have sensitive skin. I have a Bastille recipe that I use and um, my customers that have sensitive skin, they love it, so... Let me just move this camera over some because I'm getting a little bit of a sun glare <sighs> on my iPad, rather, but you'll get the logistics of it. So I'm just going to do a little slice on the side here, and it's very sticky, so I'm going to have to be extremely careful. <clears throat> I should be doing this with gloves because it is still caustic. But, <clears throat> I mean, the lye is mixing in with the oils, so it doesn't sting at all. I'm just going to cut off this little ugly bit over here. So I'm going to slide that off. And slide this piece off. I mean, it's stiff enough, you know, <clears throat> since I had it in my little back hallway soaping area with all of my, um, I have my other soaps curing, but those are um, hot process soaps, so those are only going to take a couple of weeks, <clears throat> if that much. It really depends on the formula that you use, and for the most part, I pretty much do, like, hard oils. So, we'll probably get a good maybe five bars from out of this. So, I'm going to just turn it onto its side. It's not going to be huge bars. And I'll probably just, like, give these away as testers and make another batch to see how, um, you know, people like it or whatever the case may be. So I'm just going to slice this up. And the top looks really pretty, though. Let me lean in so it can be a little bit darker. But the top looks really, really pretty. So, I don't know. I might just. I probably could sell these. <clears throat> Maybe at like a cheaper price than my normal bars. I have to slide this off really carefully. But, had a little smudge there, but that's okay. Nothing in life is uber perfect, no matter how much we want it to be. And this is a really pretty color, but I believe it's going to cure to be white. I'm just going to slice this bar a little bit thinner than the last. Slide this off carefully. No smush. 
That's the top. Oh, I really am so excited. Like, I can feel me getting a, a new cutter <laughs> soon. I hope it's soon in my in my future. But, like, cutting um, soaps, soap batches this small with the single hand cutter is not that bad. So, but if I have, like, a large batch <clears throat> that I did for, um, like, for Yasmin... You know, I really would want a multi-bar cutter to make things, you know, more smoothly and uniform. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can refer back to um, <clears throat> my two previous videos and you'll see the caption, um, the custom order that I did for Yasmin. See, it's just a plain bar of soap, and um, you'll see what I'm talking about from there. I wish the bottom came out a little better, but that came from, uh, excuse me, that came from um, when I pulled it from out of the mold. <clears throat> it wasn't stiff all the way, but that's okay. And we're just going to cut these last two pieces in half. It was the last piece, rather, to make two. Uh, the next time that I make a cold process soap, especially when I do a Castile, I will do the 72-hour wait time. It's another one. So we actually came out with, this was a pound of soap. So 16 ounces, and we came out with about five full bars, and one little tiny bar, which is okay. Let me top again. Still very soft, so I'm going to have to sit this on something, but I'm glad there are no air pockets in this. That little dent is from my nail, as you can see, I have soap on my hands. But I do want to see, I want to try to see if I can give this like a little lather test. But just so you can see the bars, I'm just going to pull them back. Two, this is the smaller one. This is the first one that I cut, it's really big. And this is from my finger too. But that's easily fixed with the soap that's, that was left in the mold. And our last bar. And this bottom can be fixed too with some planing and you know a little clean up and this one is a little crooked so I might leave that the way it is and just plane that as well but that's what happens when you have handmade soap and it's nothing wrong with that whatsoever and there you have it the cut in the sun glare <laughs> I have to lean in of my Castile 100% olive oil soap. And if you hear that yelling in the background, that's my mom going off on poor little Kobe. <laughs> but she'll be okay and so will he. So we're going to see if we can work up some lather with these bits that I have in my hand. These little sticky bits. And I'll show you that and then I'll show you a picture of the finished soaps. And we'll set them out to cure, and we'll time this. I'll give it to maybe about, let's see, it's December 13th today. So let's try, let's see if it's cured by June. So we'll leave these to cure for about six months, five or six months, and um, we'll see how it goes from there. Be right back with the lather test. Okay, guys, so we're back with the lather test. Um, this, is, this is a little small piece that I took from off of the divider <clears throat> that I had on the board. So let's see if now, with it not being cured still, if it'll give us any type of lather. I know um, that usually if it doesn't have any coconut oil, it doesn't give you much of a lather. But we'll see. We're working it in. I wish you could really, really see it. Once I get my camera, you guys, 
you start to be able start being able to see more of what I'm doing and how like my hand looks when I'm doing my lather test. But it's not super bad. It sort of puts me in the mind frame of my um, soaps. There we go. Some bubbles. And it feels pretty creamy. But it sort of puts me in the mind of my 100% beef tallow soap. Where it has very low lather but um, great cleansing properties and it's very creamy and that's what this feels like so right now this is how it is before cure but after cutting and my hands feel pretty amazed and like I said it's no sting or anything from the lye because that's already working through the oils um, so in about six months and remind me we're going to come back and we're going to do another lather test and we're going to see um, the color change on the bars. But for right now, that's it. Well, there you have it, guys. This is my version of a Castile soap made with 100% extra virgin olive oil. As you can see right now, the color of the soaps have a yellowish tint and we're going to come back and check on this in a few months to see if there's any difference in lather and the color so i hope you like this video and if you did please do give me a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button you can also leave a comment down below in the description box you'll be able to find all of my social media addresses as well as my email and my etsy shop thank you again so much for watching have a blessed day and I'll see you next time.